Today, I'm meeting my friend Maya at a neighborhood cafe, and we'll also see our friend, David. I'll talk you through some of the relevant phrases and vocabulary, and soon, you'll be chatting up new friends in Hebrew too. Let's go! Tel Aviv has a vibrant coffee culture. From large national chains to small neighborhood coffee shops, you'll easily find a place where you can sit for hours, relaxing over coffee and having a small bite to eat. And of course, they're a perfect place to meet friends. How good to see you. Also you. What happens? Good. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, see, here's David. Hi, David. Let's break down the conversation so far. As you read along, remember that unlike English, Hebrew is written from right to left. I haven't seen my friend Maya in a very long time, and I said, That means, so good to see you. In some Hebrew sentences, there are different forms for male and female. Maya and I use a female form when speaking to each other. She replied, You too. Then she said, That means something like, How are you? What's going on? Or what's happening? Altogether, that's Kamotach, Makore. I was doing well and happy to be in Tel Aviv, so I said, Tov, Ani Smechaliotpo. Tov means good, you hear that often. And Ani Smechaliotpo means I am happy to be here. Tov, Ani Smechaliotpo. Then Maya saw someone she knew walking by and said, Oh, Tiri, Hina David. Oh, look. There is David. Ho, tiri, hine David. She waved back and said, Hi, David. That's easy, right? Hi, David. Hi, David. Let's see what happens next. Hi, David. Shalom, Maya. Kama tov lirot otach. Gam otcha. Zah haver sheli, David. Shalom, David. Ani Ariel. Naim eod. Naim eod. Ariel obedet bechinuch. As Maya's friend walked to the table, he said, Shalom, Maya. Shalom literally means peace or well-being, as well as hello, and can be used both as a greeting or to say farewell. Friends may also say hi, as Maya did when she saw David. Here, David greets Maya with Shalom, Maya. Did you hear what he said next? That's right. Kama tov So good to see you. She was happy to see him and gave him a hug as she said, Gamotcha, you too. Gamotcha. It's common for friends to greet each other with hugs or a kiss on a cheek. Men often pat each other on the back when greeting. Then she introduced her friend to me. Zechaversheli David. Or this is my friend, David. Zechaversheli David. Then I introduced myself. First I said, Shalom David. Ani Ariel. Hello, David. I am Ariel. Then I said, Naim Eod. Literally, this means very pleasant, and it's commonly used to mean, it's nice to meet you. Altogether, that's, Shalom, David. Ani Ariel. Naim Eod. While friends might hug when they greet each other, when you meet someone for the first time, it's customary and polite to shake hands. So David reached out to shake my hand. Do you know what he said? That's right, Naim Eod, nice to meet you. Naim Eod. Maya started the conversation by telling David about my work. Ariel obedet bechinuch, she said to him. Ariel works in education. Ariel obedet bechinuch. David said, Nechmad, or nice. Then he said, Gam ani obed bechinuch. That means I work in education too. Altogether that's, Nechmad. Great, we'll have lots to talk about. Let's review some phrases we've learned. Ready? For the female form, or for the male form for so good to see you. For female, or for male for you too. What's happening? Naim eod. Nice to meet you. Naim eod. Oh, it looks like David is leaving. 
קפה? לא, תודה. אני לא יכול להישאר. בואו ניפגש במועדון יותר מאוחר. בטח. בואו ניפגש במועדון. אוקיי. להתראות. ביי. We've been talking for a bit, so I asked David if he wants to join us for coffee. Cafe? Coffee? Cafe? David said, לא תודה, אני לא יכול להישאר. לא תודה means no thanks. He was referring to the coffee. And then he added, אני לא יכול להישאר. I can't stay. לא תודה, אני לא יכול להישאר. Since friends frequently meet in the evening at their favorite bar or club for drinks, my friend said, בואו ניפגש במועדון יותר מאוחר. Let's meet at the club later. בואו ניפגש במועדון יותר מאוחר. David thought that was a good idea and said, בטח, בואו ניפגש במועדון. בטח means sure. And you know the rest. Let's meet at the club. בטח, בואו ניפגש במועדון. אוקיי. Okay. להתראות. אוקיי, okay, my friend said. There are many ways to say goodbye. שלום can be used, but more common is להתראות, which is like, see you later. אוקיי, okay, להתראות. And I said, bye, which is also usually said among friends. Bye. Let's look at some helpful takeaway phrases. Try saying them along with me. כן. Yes. כן. לא. No. Lo. Toda. Thank you. Toda. Lehitraot. See you later. Lehitraot. Nice. Now that I've broken the scene down for you, let's watch it in real time to see how much you've already learned. <laughs> מה קורה? טוב, אני שמחה להיות פה. או, oh, תראי, הנה דוד. היי דוד. שלום מאיה, כמה טוב לראות אותך. <laughs> גם אותך. זה החבר שלי, דוד. שלום דוד, אני אריאל. נעים מאוד. נעים מאוד. אריאל עובדת בחינוך. נחמד, גם אני עובד בחינוך. אה, oh. קפה? לא, תודה. אני לא יכול להישאר. בואו ניפגש במועדון יותר מאוחר. בטח. בואו ניפגש במועדון. אוקיי. להתראות. ביי. Israelis developed a passion for coffee centuries ago, and if you order קפה שחור, or black coffee, you'll be served the same strong and sweet coffee boiled in a finjan that was drunk by the Ottomans. If you try it, you might say, קפה שחור הוא חזק. קפה שחור is strong. Instant coffee, Nes Cafe, was introduced in the mid-20th century. Nes means miracle, and it's heavenly when it's sprinkled over hot milk. This is called Nes Al Chalav. If you try it, you might say, Nes Al Chalav הוא קרמי. Nes Al Chalav is creamy. Cappuccino, latte, and other espresso drinks made their way onto the coffee scene over the last 50 years. By far, the most popular is Café Afouk, a shot of espresso poured over steamed milk, which is why it's also known as an upside-down coffee. If you try it, you might say, Café Afouk is taim. Café Afouk is delicious. And socializing over coffee is the perfect way to meet people. There are many ways to greet someone. Shalom is an appropriate greeting in all situations, formal and informal. Shalom. A common greeting used with friends and strangers alike is Alan. This is from the Arabic word hello. Alan. Or you can say hi. This is pretty casual, so it's better to use with people you know. Hi. When meeting people for the first time, people tend to be formal and use mar, mister, and gveret, miss or missus, with their surname. In casual situations, people often move to first names quickly. After saying hello, you'll usually ask, how are you? In formal situations, this is mashlomech when speaking to a woman, or mashlomcha when speaking to a man. In informal situations, like with friends, you might instead say, ma kore? What's happening? Ma kore? Just as you can always say shalom as a greeting, you can also use it to say goodbye. Shalom. 
Earlier, we learned lehitraot, or see you later. It's a common way to say goodbye in any situation, formal or informal, so it's a good word to know. Lehitraot. But by far, the most common way to say goodbye among friends and in casual situations is simply bye. Meeting people is easy in Tel Aviv. Informal and easygoing, the locals welcome conversation. Enjoy the coffee and the company. Thanks for joining my friends and me for coffee. To learn more useful phrases and gain more cultural insights, check out our other videos.